Hello everybody, it's uh, CMikey428 back with the Google Nexus One uh, Geekcast. Today I'll just be giving you a demo of the Desire ROM that's been ported to the Nexus One. Uh, basically you can get a uh, get a custom version over at modaco.com. Uh, if you're a member you can get like a use a kitchen sink to create a custom cook ROM. So this is mine that I've used. You see already we have the unlock screen of the Desire and Sensui. Again we'll have that. Nice little cloud effects for the weather. We have a uh, pinch to zoom here to show our launcher. Got a favorites bar there now. HTC contacts, stocks, calendar, HTC friend stream which is like a combination of all your social networks in one feed. Pretty cool little app. Of course there's all kinds of widgets you have for it including Facebook, Twitter, text messaging. Uh, footprints, you can record uh, locations you've been with pictures and GPS geotaking. Latitude, of course. All your usual list here with the animations. Of course, it's rooted and everything, so you have wireless tethering options too. Nice voice recorder. Uh, trackball alerts will also work too. Just show an example of what my missed call looks like. Kind of nice to differentiate your notifications. Um, tons of widgets you can add to, of course. Clock, bookmarks, footprints, friend stream. Pretty cool. Uh, notice the draw on battery is a little harder on my battery life than um, the stock ROM or any Cyanogen ROM. Camera, though, it's definitely worth it. Desk clock, I use that instead of the uh, Nexus One. Works a little better for me. I was a fan of the next one dock automatically making it go to that uh, to the clock app or whatever. Um, marketplace works fine. The only problem I think I've seen is just setting my Google Voice settings uh, for voicemail. Doesn't read it ever. I have T-Mobile, but again, this is an alpha build, so it's expected. And yeah, I guess that's about all. Looks pretty, is pretty, works pretty good. Good job, guys.